It is made up of two primary groups of bones, namely the axial skeleton and the appendicular skeleton. The axial skeleton consists of the skull and the spinal vertebral column. The appendicular skeleton consists of bones that make up the forelimbs and hind limbs and their supporting skeletal framework, namely the pectoral girdle and the pelvic girdle. The muscle cells are slender and highly elongated and are known as muscle fibers. The cytoplasm of a muscle fiber is called sarcoplasm. The sarcoplasm is provided with fine longitudinal fibers called myofibrils. A muscle fiber may be provided with a nucleus and usually bounded by a specialized membrane called sarcolemma. The human body has about 700 muscles. The nervous system is made up of the brain, the spinal cord, and the nerves. The network of nerve cells and fibers regulates the body's responses to internal and external stimuli. It consists of a massive muscular heart and a system of closed blood vessels comprising arteries, arterioles, capillaries, venules, and veins, and hence is also known as the cardiovascular system. It acts as the connecting link between the neuromuscular system and organs, such as the digestive, respiratory, excretory organs, etc. The heart transports blood to the tissues to maintain their normal functioning. The cell contains a nucleus which acts as the controlling center of the cellular factory. The protoplasm found between the plasma membrane and the nuclear membrane is called the cytoplasm. The cytoplasm contains many organelles, such as endoplasmic reticulum, ribosomes, centrioles, Golgi complex, mitochondria. The digestive system and excretory system work together. The digestive system breaks down the food into nutrients which are absorbed into the bloodstream and the undigested solids are eliminated by the digestive system while the excretory system filters the bloodstream and removes the waste products and excess water. The endocrine system is signal system similar to the nervous system that constitutes a collection of hormone secreting glands to regulate the body's physiology. Hormones are directly released into the bloodstream to act on target organs or cells. The immune system is an integrated network of organs, tissues, cells and cell products such as antibodies that protect the body from pathogens and other foreign substances. The external respiration involves the passage of oxygen from the air into the alveoli of the lungs and then into the blood. Internal respiration involves the passage of oxygen from the blood into the tissues. Cellular respiration is also called biological oxidation. During this stage, oxygen is given to the cells by blood, and in turn, blood receives carbon dioxide from the cell. 